Next, I'm going to show you how to add links to your um, cells in your spreadsheet if you want to. I've given you the code that you're going to use right here on the spreadsheet, on the uh, PowerPoint presentation rather, or the Google presentation. You want to select all of that code that I've given you. Make sure you get the equal sign here and the parentheses there, the entire bit of it. You could use a keyboard shortcut to copy that or you could right click on it and choose copy. I'm going to right click in this case and come over here to your project manager. Go to the step where you want to put it. If you double click, it's going to, or triple click rather, it's going to select all the text in there. And I want to delete the steps that are in there and then I want to paste that code directly into the cell. Hit enter when you're done and you've now put in the code. You can see how that works. So your text here and then there's going to be a link to a website. Now, we're going to need to customize that a little bit. So once you've got the code in there, double click, and that brings your code up again. And let me just walk you through this. All this is saying is the contents of this cell are equal to a hyperlink. And the hyperlink is everything between the quotes. So from there to there, that's the URL address that you want to hyperlink to. And then after the comma is another set of quotation marks. And those quotes are the words that your readers are going to see on your uh, spreadsheet. So whatever text that you put right here between those two quotes, I'm gonna hit enter, which updates it. Now that text is the contents of the hyperlink. So your students are gonna click on that text and then they'll have to follow the hyperlink up here. Now, we haven't put a proper hyperlink in there yet, so we're gonna need to find that. Let's say that we wanted to show this web page right here. There's a educational video from PBS Learning Media, and we wanted to use that. Here is a URL address. I wanted to copy and paste this. So take that URL address and copy it, using the keyboard shortcut. Switch back to your um, uh, step that you're working on your unit. Double click on that code to bring up the code again. And remember that that hyperlink goes inside these two quotes right here. This code's about to get a lot longer. You want to select the default text that's in there between that parenthesis and that parenthesis. You can delete it if you want to. And now we're going to paste in the hyperlink we want to go to. Using my keyboard shortcut, I warned you this was going to get longer, but it's still the exact same um, way of, uh, of working. The contents of this cell are equal to a hyperlink. Here is the address of the hyperlink. You don't need to know all that, just know that that's where we're going. And then in the next set of quotes, after that comma, these are the words your students are going to see to go to that hyperlink. And I'm going to put some real words in there so you can see. Go to this website and watch the video. Put those words in, hit enter to update my code, and now the text says go to this website and watch the video. And there's a hyperlink embedded in that text, and when the students click on that little pop-up, it's going to take them to a separate page, well, a separate tab will open up, and there's the video you wanted them to go to.